Hi, Gino. Welcome back. Well, look at you. All grown up. I thought I was all grown up when you married me off at 17. Still carrying a grudge, kid? Am I supposed to forget about that? So it didn't work out. I did what I thought was best. Well, I guess we should talk. Yeah. A lot of things have changed since you've been gone. They have. They have. I'm involved now. I'm part of it. So I've heard. And so's Dario. He designed the hotel. And it looks fabulous. I have to warn you, now that you're back, there's no way that you're shoving me out. There's no way. Who said I wanted to? I'm proud of you, kid. I really am. You are? Mm-hmm. You and Dario. You did real good. I heard about everything. Really? Hey, I can admit when I'm wrong. There's just one thing that you screwed up. I know. Enzio Bonatti. That's right. He's no good. He's lower than dirt. I wish you would have told me before. I never would have gone to him if I'd known about his double dealing. But you never confided in me, did you? I tried to protect you. It wasn't something that I thought you needed to know. I wish we could have protected Marco. I know, kid. I know. I loved him, too. Hey. Kid. Come here. I thought you two would have killed each other by now. <laughs> oh, we just talking about Marco. And Enzio. <laughs> I agree with Gino. We gotta get Benani out of our hotel. Oh, I'll take care of him. He didn't figure on me coming back. No, no, I got us into this, I'll get us out. He's played me for dumb. I can take advantage of that. Not so fast, kid. We've got to think this one through. Now, I got a few appointments to attend to, so why don't you and Dario come back here at 8 o'clock tonight for dinner, and we'll discuss it. That's okay with me? Me too. Good. Oh, just for the record, you both did a great job. I hear you built us a fine hotel. Thanks, Dad. Did you hear the old man? It was, it was like he was really proud of us. I know. It's just like he was when we were young. It's like he really cares, huh? Yeah. When I was little, he was always like that. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Well, now all we have to do is take care of Enzio. Well, why don't you let Gino take care of that? Hey, I bought him in. I'm going to get him out. What are you going to do? Wait and see. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Want a ride? Uh, no. Just go up the street, a couple blocks. I'll walk. Okay. I'll see you at 8, okay? Bye. Bye.
Tina. I think we finally found the guy we've been looking for. I got Pino Ferragami on the phone. He's one of the closest to Bonatti. He's on his way to tell the story to the FBI and then into a witness protection program. He says if we can make his price, he's ready to talk to us first. Tell him we'll pay his price. Get him over here. Pronto. Where's Dario? He hasn't arrived yet. What's he doing here? He belongs to Bernardi. She's tight with Bernardi. I ain't talking to her. Hey, watch your mouth. She's a Santangelo. I want my daughter to hear what you just told me. So this is the story. Like, I've worked for Bernardi a long time, and he don't care what he orders done to nobody. Like, he had Marco taken care of to get him out of the way. He knew Marco sold him out all those years ago, but he never acted till it suited him. Oh, and Gino, I got something else. You want her to hear this, too? It was Enzio ordered the hit on your wife. What? Yeah, set it up as a robbery. Recognize this? Enzio kept it as a souvenir. Get this piece of garbage out of here. Give him his money and get him out of my sight. What is this? I tell you the facts, and all of a sudden I'm garbage. Okay, I'll... get. Yeah. Come on, you got your money now. Get out. Sorry, kid. I just never allowed myself to believe that Enzio had anything to do with Maria's murder. I just couldn't believe that he would go that far. It's time to settle up with Bonatti. He's in Vegas. I've got a plane standing by. We're on our way. What about Dario? Where is he? He's probably downstairs. Come on. We got outstanding debts to pay. Thank you. 